Hi, I'm Craig. Welcome to the Battery Shop. The battery in the Hyundai Palisade is located right under the hood. It's fairly easy to get to, but before we begin, check with the manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions to make sure you're familiar with the project, you have everything you need, you don't forget anything, and you can safely and efficiently replace a battery in a vehicle like this. Here's how it's done. We are using a memory saver to keep the vehicle's computer's memories alive while the battery is being replaced. The first step is to remove the push pins for the air duct. You'll need a flathead screwdriver for that. And then remove the air duct. With gloves and safety glasses on, the first step is to remove the protective cap for the negative terminal. And then loosen the fastener for the negative cable using your 10 millimeter wrench. And remove the cable and set it off to the side. Next, open the protective cap for the positive terminal. And using your 10 millimeter wrench, loosen the fastener for the positive cable. And set it off to the side. The next step is to loosen and remove the fastener for the battery's hold down bracket. You'll need a 12 millimeter wrench for that. Now we can remove the battery and its heat shield. And install the replacement battery and its heat shield. Now we can reinstall the battery's hold down bracket and tighten the fastener. It's always a good idea to clean up any corrosion on your battery's terminals and cable connection clamps. Next, we can reinstall the positive battery cable onto the positive battery terminal. But don't pound these clamps on, as that can cause internal battery damage and tighten the fastener. And close the cap. Then, reinstall the negative battery cable onto the negative battery terminal. And tighten the fastener. And finally, reinstall the air duct. And push pin fasteners. Many late model vehicles have to have their replacement battery registered or coded with the battery management system of the vehicle. Refer to the service and repair manual for your vehicle to see if this needs to be done. If so, check out our videos on how to do this. The links to them are in this video's description below.